I look back at it, uh, God was watching. He waits, he's so patient. He waits for the right time. About 2018, I sort of had this reckoning all coming at once. Uh, my mother passed away, and two weeks later, my sister-in-law. Uh, our marriage was really on shaky ground. So everything was coalescing. I had to make a, a really hard decision to separate and take some time. I'm looking at starting all over, losing everything. I had made a decision uh, living my uh, uh, 2004 RV Winnebago at a campground for the summer. This is kind of where that first seed goes. It was the first day I got there, camp manager, he goes, do you believe in Christ? And I, I, I hesitated, yeah, I do but I haven't been walking the walk. Okay. I didn't get into detail. I said, I'm going through this thing, this separation thing. I, I said, I'm having a hard time with it. I got invited to go to church on Sunday. They had church at this campground. You feel like a failure with your marriage, you know, as a father. That, at that point, started me to take stock. Uh, I started digging into scripture. The red letters, of course, are, are Jesus's quotes or words, you start to hear him speak to you. It is almost as he's sitting next to you, talking to you personally. It's the miracle of it. I hadn't communicated with my wife for about a month or two because it was always combative. You know, I'm thinking we're headed for a divorce. Uh, things are not looking good. My aunt got me a study Bible. And in this book was a little note saying, you know, take her to Jesus. I still have it in my book. I keep it. Somebody has to start with forgiveness. And when I'm forgiven for all the mistakes that I've made in my life, you want to forgive. There's so much power in forgiveness. Uh, we had a talk. Let's start dating. About six dates we went on before, you know, so I'll move back home, you know, uh, Christ is on the cross and saying, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Uh, that's kind of when it, it came over on me. It's the kind of love that just, just comes down on you and brings you to your knees and you're at a point where there's no more pain, there's no more hate, there's no more anger. It's a self-sacrificing love in which that's all that matters, where you feel forgiven. I mean, you're just like, you're laughing, you're crying, you're on your knees, and he's just like a parent picking you up, holding you like a baby saying, I forgive you. At that point, you're never the same. You're totally different.